What are the most effective osteoporosis exercises for hips that you can do safely at home? Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to guide you through two great exercises for osteoporosis for hips and also osteopenia that you can do at home and these exercises are both for women and for men. Now the most effective exercises you can do for osteoporosis for hips are exercises for the muscles that attach around the hip joint and these are the buttock muscles. So the exercises we're going to do should feel safe and comfortable throughout and I'd like you to stop the exercises if you feel any discomfort throughout. So let's start now. We're going to lie down. Uh, you can, if you can't lie on the ground, you'll be able to do these exercises lying in the bed as well, uh, if that's much more comfortable for you to do so. So starting with our first exercise, which is a bridging exercise, we're lying down. So coming down lying, I've got a pillow to support my head and you could use a pillow to support your head and your upper back if necessary. Now you take your feet apart and your knees apart. Turn your toes outwards to make this exercise most effective. Now just basically this is the bridge exercise, lifting and lowering like that. It's a really great buttock strengthening exercise. It's also safe for your pelvic floor so you can be feel assured if you've got pelvic floor issues such as prolapse that you're not going to worsen doing this, worsen that condition doing this exercise as well. So step by step here's what you do. Lying down Keep a slight inward curve in your back. Now visualize squeezing your buttock muscles together as if you're holding a 10 pound bill between your buttock muscles. And what you then do is you press down and lift up like that. So buttock muscles are contracting and then you lower down. Now you don't necessarily need to lift too high if that's uncomfortable for your back. You keep all these exercises in the range of comfort and pain free. But if you can lift higher, lifting up, so you can lift the buttocks right up so that you're nearly a straight line from your shoulders through to your knees and then lowering back down slowly. So you always start the exercises unloaded or unweighted until you've got the technique correct. Then once you've got the, the correct technique and you feel really confident, you can start to load. So I've got some weights here. You'd start with one to two pounds or a kilo and you can use one weight in the middle of the pelvis and lift and lower like that or you could use a weight either side of the pelvis and lifting up that way and then lowering down slowly. Now, a couple of other little tips with this exercise. If you think about pushing your toes away, so pushing away in that direction as you lift, you'll activate your buttocks better and you keep your heels fairly close to your buttocks, not way out there because this is not a hamstring exercise, this is a buttock exercise. So one more time, breathing in, breathing out, press down and lift and then lower down slowly. That's our first exercise. Second exercise is the clam. Now clam is a great exercise for hip bone strengthening as well. It involves a rotational movement of the hip and this is an exercise or a movement that the body really isn't normally accustomed to which is why it's so effective for hip bone strengthening. So what you do with this exercise is lie on, a comfortable, on, on your side comfortably, support your head and neck and in this position, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the top knee directly away from the lower knee. So when you're lining up, you make sure your knees are in alignment when you look down and you lift the top knee away from the lower knee, keeping the feet together all the time. Now you might have seen this exercise done like this which is incorrect. That involves spinal rotation. We don't want any spinal rotation. We actually want to keep the spine straight and just get the movement from the hip. So the spine stays straight and as you just lift a small amount, you can see I don't need to lift too high, and then back down slowly. I like to use my hand here, and this is where this muscle is, it's the gluteus medius muscle, to actually feel it activate and it gets hard under my hand, I lift, and then most importantly, lower down slowly. That's when you make most of your strength gains. Now, as you progress over time, when you feel confident in the technique, you can start to weight this exercise or load it. So you can use a strap-on weight around the knee, or you can use a dumbbell weight. Now, it's no use putting the dumbbell up here near the hip, that won't load the joint. You actually need to roll the weight down close to your knee, that long lever principle, so that you're actually then loading the hip joint effectively. Your head stays down, and then you lift up, 
and then you lower down slowly. So you lift for two and you lower down one, two, three, four. And one more time, lifting for two and lowering down one, two, three, four. And I will be going through the number of exercises to do and how often to do them at the end of this video. So stay with me for that. So how many exercises do we need to do? Ideally, you're doing these exercises for two to three, lots of eight to 10 repetitions. That means up to, what's that, eight threes at 24 to 30 uh, exercises a day. You can start off with one pound or perhaps one to two kilograms when you start to lift and progress that gradually. Ideally, you're also doing these exercises on two to three alternate days of the week. So I really hope these osteoporosis exercises for hips help you with your home exercise routine. As always, if you've enjoyed the video and you find it beneficial, I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a like below because then YouTube will share the video information with other women and men that can benefit too. So thanks so much for watching today. Look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye for now.